issued a warning this morning on Twitter, writing, Rand Paul or whoever votes against HCARE bill will forever future political campaigns be known as the Republican who saved Obamacare. Capitol Hill sources say, with, with Senator Paul a firm no, it could come down to these two senators, John McCain and Lisa Murkowski, and leadership only able to lose one more Republican to pass this bill. McCain has complained about process, wanting hearings, and leader Mitch McConnell has called for a hearing in Senate finance early next week. And there's been talk of making adjustments for Murkowski to address the unusual nature of Alaska, but another Senate Republican is warning against offering sweeteners. I say this to my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. If people start sm making special deals and certain states get special treatment at the expense of my state, mm. um, I'm, I'm going to be very unamused. Most sources suggest we won't have a great idea until exactly how close they are to 50 votes until lawmakers return to the Capitol early next week. Leland. Kimberly Strassel with some tough words in the Wall Street Journal about Senator Murkowski. Uh, you've got Jimmy Kimmel, Democrats and the insurance companies all lined up against this plan. What are they saying about it? Well, Democrats are saying this would be bad for consumers. You had Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who favors a single-payer health care plan. Medicare for All out yesterday, suggesting Republicans have the wrong priorities, wanting to spend more on national security instead of health care. Another key Democrat explained why he is a no. There's no definition of adequate and affordable. More importantly, there's no enforcement mechanism that says exactly how the federal government will hold the state um, to that description that they're supposed to provide. So health professionals from a wide range of backgrounds have criticized this bill as lacking an effective enforcement mechanism. Coons is among those disappointed that bipartisan talks to fix Obamacare broke down this week.